Welcome to our podcast, where we explore the fascinating world of decorative arts. I'm your host, Jessamy Baynosa, and today we'll delve into the diverse types of decorative arts that have captivated people's imagination throughout history. But before we proceed, let me first define what is decorative arts. Decorative arts encompass a wide range of artistic discipline that involve the design and creation of beautiful objects that are also functional. These objects are often used to decorate interiors, enhance personal adornment, or serve practical purposes. The decorative arts include various mediums such as ceramics, glassware, basketry, jewelry, metalware, furniture, textile, and clothing. And now, Ms. Jessamy Baynosa and Ms. Christine Siren Duque will explain to us the history of decorative arts. The history and origin of decorative arts. First is the prehistoric art in which cave paintings and sculpture develop. In cave paintings, they use natural pigments like charcoal, and in sculpture, they use stone, bone, and ivory. Second, the ancient art which uh, Egyptian art and Roman and Greek art belongs. Um, in Egyptian art, limestone, granite, uh, the, in Egyptian art, they use limestone, granite, and basalt for sculpture, and papyrus for writing. In Greek and Roman art, they use marble and bronze and terracotta for sculpture. Third is medieval art, which early Christian and Byzantine art and Islamic art belongs. In early Christian and Byzantine art, they use, in mosaic, they use glass and gold leaf. So, in um, Islamic art, it intricates pattern in ceramics, metalwork, and textile. And they develop also the calligraphy on parchment and paper. Fourth is Renaissance. Uh, in Renaissance, they uh, develop paintings and sculptures. In painting, they use oil paint on canvas or wood panels. And in sculpture, they use marble and bronze. Fifth is Broke, which is rich materials like marbles and bronze and gold leaf for sculptures and architectures. Neoclassicism here in Neoclassicism, marble and bronze for sculptures, fine wood for furniture porcelain are used for decorative object. Next is the Romanticism. Similar to Neoclassicism, with an emphasis on natural materials and textures were used. Next is the Realism. Utilitarian materials reflecting everyday life such as wood for furniture and pottery for vessels were used. In Impressionism era, all paint on canvas for paintings and simple natural materials for decorative objects. Next is the modern art. Diverse materials including the industrial metals, glass, plastics, are found object for sculptures and installation. Lastly is the contemporary art. Here in contemporary art, continues, it continues to explore a wide range of materials including the traditional mediums as well as unconventional and mixed media approaches. Thank you for that Miss Baynosa and Miss Duque for explaining to us the history and origin of decorative arts. And now, let us proceed to the elements of decorative arts. Let's move on to the elements of decorative arts. Decorative arts has 10 elements and the first element is textiles. It refers to materials that are made through weaving, knitting, crusting, or felting fibers together. They include fabrics like cotton, silk, wool, linen, and synthetic fibers. Examples of these are carpets. Next is the ceramic. Ceramic are objects made from clay that is shaped and then fired at high temperature. 
This process creates a durable materials that can be glazed and decorated in various ways. Metal works. Metal works involve crafting objects from various metals such as iron, bronze, copper, silver, and gold. Techniques include forging and casting and welding. Next is the furniture. It refers to a movable object that are designed to support human activities such as sitting, sleeping, or storage. It also includes items like chairs, tables, bed, cabinets, and sofas. Next is glasswork. Glasswork involves shaping and manipulating glass to create decorative and functional objects. This technique includes blowing, casting, cutting, and itching. Good day everyone, my name is Honey Grace Arag and today I am going to discuss some elements of decorative arts. First is woodwork. Woodworking is a process of making decorative and useful objects from wood like cabinets, wine tables, instruments, balls, and more. It encompasses techniques like wood carving, joinery, and wood turning. Next is painting. Painting is a visual art which is characterized by the practice of applying paint, pigment, color, or other medium to a solid surface, called the matrix or support. The medium is commonly applied to the base with a brush, but other implements such as pipes, sponge, and airbrushes can be used. Next is calligraphy. Calligraphy is a visual art related to writing it is a design and execution of lettering with a pen ink brush or other writing instrument contemporary calligraphic practice can be defined as the art of giving form to signs in an impressive harmonious and skillful manner next is mosaic mosaic is a pattern or image made of small regular or irregular pieces of colored stone glass or ceramic held in a place by plaster or mortar and covering a surface mosaics are often used as floor and wall decoration and were particularly popular in the ancient roman world next is the ceramic tiles ceramic tiles are thin, thin pieces made of clay silica ties and other raw materials to make floors and wall tiles the best known types of ceramic tiles are stoneware tiles or porcelain stoneware thank you very much miss orag and miss duque for sharing your knowledge and explaining to us the elements of decorative arts so now let us proceed to the types of decorative arts which will explain to us by mr brian c egot Let's start by discussing applied arts. Applied arts refers to the applications of artistic principles and techniques to practical objects or purposes, unlike fine arts, which are created primarily for aesthetic appreciation. Applied arts serve functional purposes while also incorporating elements of design and creativity. By applied arts encompass a diverse range of disciplines that blend artistic creativity with practical functionality. From architectural marvels to everyday products, these art forms enrich our lives by enhancing functionality, beauty, and cultural expression. By understanding the significance of applied arts, we gain insight into the intersections of design, innovations, and human experience in the built environment. Next. Let's explore the mesmerizing world of fine art. Fine arts encompass a broad spectrum of creative disciplines that are primarily valued for their aesthetic and functional qualities, unlike applied arts, which serve functional purposes. Fine arts are created primarily for the purpose of artistic expressions and appreciation. Fine arts encompass a diverse array of disciplines that reflect the creativity, imagination, and cultural diversity of humanity. From ancient cave paintings to cutting-edge digital installations, fine arts continue to evolve and inspire audiences around the world. 
By appreciating the significance of fine arts, we gain insight into human conditions in the complexities of artistic expressions across time and cultures. Now, let's turn our attention to design. The design plays a crucial role in decorative arts, influencing the aesthetic, functionality, and cultural significance of the objects and spaces created. Design encompasses various elements such as form, function, materials, and craftsmanship, all of which contribute the overall visual impact and utility of decorative artworks. Design plays a multifaceted role in decorative arts, shaping the aesthetic, functional, and cultural dimensions of artistic expression. Through careful, careful considerations of aesthetic principle, functional requirements, material choices, cultural influences, and craftsmanship, designers create artworks that engage and enrich our lives. By understanding the importance of design in decorative arts, we gain a deeper appreciation for the creativity, innovations, and craftsmanship that define this timeless art form. Moving on to interior design. Interior decoration is the art of enhancing the interior space of buildings to create aesthetically placing and functional environments. Decorative arts plays a vital role in interior decorations as they provide the visual and tactile elements that contribute to the overall ambience and style of a space. The relationship between interior decorations and decorative arts highlights the enduring influence and art of artistic expressions on our built environments, enriching our daily experiences and enhancing our sense of well-being. Now, let's explore the fascinating world of jewelry design. Jewelry design is a captivating aspect of decorative arts that blends craftsmanship, aesthetic, and cultural significance. As wear wearable art, Jewelry serves as a form of personal adornment, expressing individual style and reflecting societal norms and traditions. From ancient talisman to contemporary statement pieces, jewelry continues to captivate and inspire with its beauty, symbolism, and emotional resonance. By exploring the rule of jewelry design within decorative arts, we gain a deeper appreciation for the artistry, craftsmanship, and cultural heritage embodied in this exquisite adornment. Moving on to metalwork. Metalwork is a versatile and intricate art from that has been integral to decorative arts throughout history. From ancient civilizations to modern times, metalwork has been used to create ornate objects, architectural features, and functional items that serve both aesthetic and practical purposes. Metalwork occupies a prominent and enduring position within decorative arts, showcase, showcasing the skills, creativity, and cultural rich, richness of artisans throughout history. By exploring, by exploring the significance of metalwork within decorative arts, we gain a deeper appreciation for the enduring legacy of this versatile and timeless art form. Finally, let's drive into the world of crafts. Crafts are integral components of decorative arts, encompassing a wide range of traditional and contemporary techniques that blend artistic creativity with skilled craftsmanship. Crafts play a significant role in embellishing objects, surfaces, and space adding aesthetic beauty, cultural richness, and functional utility to describe decorative artworks. Crafts are essential components of decorative arts, embodying the skills, creativity, and cultural richness of artisans around the world. Whether rooted in tradition or exploring new frontiers of innovations, crafts play a vital role in shaping the aesthetic, cultural and functional dimensions of decorative artwork. By recognizing the importance of crafts within decorative arts, we gain a deeper appreciation for diversity, diversity, resilience, 
in integrity of human creativity. And that concludes our explorations of the types of decorative arts. We hope you enjoy this journey through the rich and diverse world of artistic expression. Join us next time as we continue to uncover the wonders of decorative arts. Until then, I'm Brian C. Egat signing off. Thanks for listening. Thank you very much, Mr. Egot. We really appreciate your effort in sharing to us your knowledge on what are the types of decorative arts. And now, let's move on to the notable artists in decorative arts from the world, national and local, which will explain to us by Mr. Willie Sincero. Good day everyone, my name is Barry D. Sincero Jr. The topic was given to me is not all artists and decorative arts so we have world national and local so first is the world Romain the third of Erti, known by his alias is probably one of the best known art and deco designers born in St. Petersburg in 1892 he became one of the most influential fashion designers and illustrators in Paris in 1920s famous works is Harper's Bazaar. Next is Winnie Charles La Lalique is probably is probably the world most famous glass art designers. Those legacy is still strong today and whose pieces are favored by the collect by the collectors. Born in 1860 in Paris, Lalique became one of the most praised art novio. Jewelry designers work for the leading French jewelry like and Bonchard. Next is the Charles Edward Generate Girls, also known as Ale Corbusier. The first use of the term Art Deco is often attributed to this man, even though the learn officially entered the art history vocabulary in the 60s, 60s in 1925 at the inaugural Art Deco exhibition. Play Corvusser's pavilion stood in a, a, a portion to the extra vagin. Decorative men typically for the new style. Next is the Jean Donan, a French artist and was Centrally, the most important Lacque uh, La artist of the Art Deco period. During his formative years, he was mostly interested in sculpture and copper work. Lastly, is Emily Jacques Ruheyman, is a French furniture and interior designer. Ruheyman strongly believed that the salvation of art depended on the Elites and unlike Lee Coverture, who promote strict, strictness and tourism, the designs of Rohiman perfectly embodied a spectacular and luxurious esprit and age. Now proceed to the national. First is the Kinit Kabon Pui. Known for his innovative and contemporary furniture designs, Covent Fuy has received numerous accolades, accolades, and his works have been featured in prestigious design exhibitions and publications worldwide. Next is the Anne Pamintuan, a celebrated ceramic artist. Pamintuan's unique and and Tricate pottery designs have been showcased internationally, highlighting the rich traditions of the Philippines, ceramics, and her mastery of the craft. Lastly, is the Eto Kesh. With a focus on modern Filipino design, Kesh has gained global recognition for his furniture and home decor creations incorporating elements of the Philippines, culture, and craftsmanship into his designs. And now let's proceed to our local. First is the 
Kovlai Milan. Kovlai Milan, known for his exceptional skills in creating large scale sculptures and public art installations, Milan's work often reflects the rich cultural heritage and traditions of Mindanao. Lastly, is the Maranao artisans. The Maranao people of Mindanao are known for their ekwisai craftsmanship in creating traditional decorative arts such as ochre, wood carving, brassware, and textiles which are to play root in their cultural and religious traditions. Thank you for that, Mr. Sincero. And now let us proceed on what are the impacts of decorative arts in our culture and the society. Good day, everyone. Are you excited to know what are the impact of decorative arts to our cultures and society? But before that, I will introduce first my name. So I am William Grace Napoli Ambayek. So, decorative arts have significant impact on cultures and society in various ways. So, first is cultural identity. Decorative arts often reflect the unique traditions, beliefs, and values of a cultures. They contribute to the preservation and expression of cultural identity, serving as tangible symbols of heritage and traditions. And the second one is social cohesion. Through decorative arts, communities often come together to create, celebrate, and appreciate shared cultural expression. This fosters social cohesion and a sense of belonging among individuals within the society. And the third one is economic influence. The production and trade of Decorative arts can have economic implications, providing livelihood for artisans, supporting local economies, and even driving tourism through the promotion of cultural heritage. And the fourth one is aesthetic enjoyment. Decorative art enhances the visual and sensory experience of individuals, bringing beauty and aesthetic pleasure to everyday life. So next one is communication and expressions. Decorative art serves as a means of communication and expression, conveying ideas, stories, and emotion across generations. They can also act as vehicle for social commentary, reflecting societal norms, values, and aspirations. So next is cross-cultural exchange. Through trade, migration, and cultural exchange, decorative art facilitate the sharing of ideas, techniques, and styles between different cultures. These cross-pollinations often leads to innovation and the emergence of new artistic forms. So, decorative arts play a multifaceted role in shaping cultural and societies, influencing everything from individual identities to border social dynamics and global interactions. So, the influence of decorative arts on daily life tradition and aesthetic are profound. In daily life, decorative art enrich daily life by surrounding individuals with beauty and functionality. In tradition, decorative arts often reflect and pertwee uh, cultural traditions serving as a links to the past and carries of heritage. For example, the intricate motifs on traditional textiles or the carving on religious artifacts preserve cultural knowledge and practices passed down through generations. In aesthetics, decorative art shape or perceptions of beauty and aesthetics influencing personal preference and societal standards. They inspire creativity, evoke emotions, and contribute to the overall visual environment, whether in the form of architecture, furniture, or fashions. In personal expression, decorative arts provide avenues for personal expression and identity formations. Individuals often use decorative objects to express their tastes, values, and affiliations, whether through the choice of artwork in their homes or the accessories they wear. 
and cultural exchange, decorative art facilitate cultural exchange by showcasing the unique artistic tradition of different soci societies. Through exposure to the diverse style and techniques, individuals gain a broader understanding of global cultures and historical fostering appreciation and empathy. In rituals and ceremonies, decorative arts play integral role in rituals and ceremonies with a symbolized symbolize meaning and grandeur from ornate wedding attire to ceremonial vi vessels, decorative objects enhance the significance of special occasions and rites of passage. So in, in decorative arts, permit various aspects of daily life, traditions, and aesthetics, enriching human experience and contributing to the richness and diverse, diversity of global cultures. Thank you so much, Ms. Ambayik, for sharing your knowledge in um, explaining to us the impact of decorative arts to our culture and to our society. So, in conclusion, we are able to discuss the definition of decorative arts, the history and origin, and of course, the element of decorative arts, which tackles the textile, ceramic, metalworks, furniture, and etc. And we also tackle the types of decorative arts, which are applied arts, fine arts, design, interior decoration, jewelry, design, metalwork, and crafts. And also, we uh, discuss the notable artists from the world, national, and local. And also, we uh, explain the impact of uh, decorative arts to our culture and to our society. Motivational. Art is not a handicraft. It is the transmission of feeling the artist has experienced. So it emphasizes the idea that art goes beyond mere craftsmanship. It suggests that art is not solely about technical skill or the production of physical objects, but rather about the artist's ability to convey their emotions and experience through their work. And always remember, the beauty of decorative arts lies not only in their aesthetic appeal, but also in the stories that they tell. Let this journey inspire you to embrace creativity in all aspects of your life. Thank you for watching and listening to our podcast. I hope you learn a lot from our discussion. Once again, I am your host, Jessime Bainosa, and we are the Group 4 Presenters, The Decorative Arts. Thank <music> you.